Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you wanna kick it? Sip a little bit of this liquid. She be screaming, whip I be like, alright. Welcome to me, Casa. Make yourself at home. Do your do. Welcome to my pad. This your lab. Go create your move. Lemon in my nigga. Oh, I love a big guy. Hello everyone, welcome to another Stoked on Spokes video. In this video, we're going to take a look at this past year. Now, I know I'm a little late to the game. Most of these year-end recaps happen at the end of the year that you're currently in. But I was traveling, vacations, just taking a break from video. And uh, yeah, it wasn't until now that I decided, why not do it? This channel isn't even one year old. It's more like five months old. But I wanted to share a little bit about how this channel got started and where we are with the channel now and then maybe in a future video share where it will go this year. So let's hop right into it. So this year started with me living in Colorado and my girlfriend at the time, Jordan, was living here in Wisconsin where we're now both living. As far as bicycle riding, I wasn't really doing much in January besides commuting to work. The Colorado winters are definitely more manageable and more rideable than outside now, uh, unless you have a fat bike or some sort of bike that can stand the snow. So I was doing a lot of commuting on the Surly Karate Monkey, which is right behind me. It wasn't set up like this at all. It was set up to be a commuter basket on the front. It was full rigid. Right now it has front suspension, but at the time it was fully rigid. Um, and yeah, I was just using it to commute. After a few more months of commuting, uh, Jordan flew out to Colorado and we went to Utah in March where I proposed and we got engaged. Something I was really excited about and really happy with. By the way, she did say yes. So, so once spring was fully in swing, I was riding a lot of the Karate Monkey and Initially, I had bought it to be more of a bikepacking bike and sort of a very versatile heavy-duty commuter that could take the snow. But I was doing more mountain biking with it, more and more. And I was taking it out to Loveland, Colorado, and I was riding the Devil's Backbone Trail, which if you know anything about this trail, it can get very technical <laughs> so and very down. rocky. So I was riding the Devil's Backbone Trail more and more and finding myself going out there and enjoying mountain biking. This is the first time when I really owned my own mountain bike and granted it was fully rigid, I was enjoying it. This is important to note um, because later on in the year, my Karate Monkey took a major transformation that I want to do its own video about. I think it's important to note the versatility that the Karate Monkey offers and Surly Bikes in general. So in May, I had a bikepacking trip planned with my buddy Eric that took place in Utah. And to prepare for that, I actually loaded up the Karate Monkey and spent a weekend bikepacking. It wasn't really bikepacking. We weren't, I wasn't camping. I was riding up to my buddy Frank's house. And yeah, just spending the weekend really dialing in the setup so that I could be prepared for the bikepacking trip I had coming up. Once that bikepacking trip was complete, it was time to go to Utah and start the summer off right. So I met up with my buddy Eric, and if you haven't watched the video, you should. It is linked down below. But that, this is where we did the bikepacking, the Cedar Mesa Loop in Utah. This was an amazing trip. Eric was an amazing uh, riding buddy to have out there. And he's very knowledgeable with maps, so he made sure that we didn't get lost. In late June, it was time for me to pack my things and move here to Wisconsin. Once I was in Wisconsin, I eventually purchased this bike here, the Kona Rove. And this bike is what got me to ride a bunch of gravel miles. Now it was the summer and Jordan, my fiance, is busy at work so I was here I'm a teacher and uh, a lot of spare time on my hands so ended up riding a lot that summer mostly just 20 mile rides 
you know, day after day. And then eventually I set the goal that I want to ride my first century. So I'd never ridden a century. I set this goal for myself. And this summer was when I did it. After I had finished this century is when I decided to start making YouTube videos. So how did it start? Well, I contacted my brother, very, uh, very skilled artist. He tattoos as well. He just gave me this tattoo here on my arm, but I contacted him to see if he could help me out with a logo. And that is how the Stoked on Spokes logo came about. He designed that. I let him do kind of what he wanted with it. I had given him an idea with spokes because it is Stoked on Spokes. But my idea was way too, uh, way too complex. He kind of simplified it. And the logo that you see now is created by him. So thanks, Chris. Now that I had a logo, it was just up to me to start creating content for the channel. I packed the bags up on the Kona Rove and decided to go bikepacking for a night, film that, post that. That generated a lot of questions about the bags and how I pack which led to the bikepacking series, which I sort of broke down how I pack and what I pack on the Kona Rove. This is when Jordan and I took our first trip up to Marquette and really saw the beauty in those trails. So we were riding around the North Trails and I saw a female cyclist, mountain biker with a dog. And that is where the idea came up to buy our dog. So. We quickly booked it from that trip back to Wisconsin and purchased and bought Vida. Once school started for me here in Wisconsin, I ended up signing up for the Hibernator 100, which is a 100 mile gravel race here in the Northwoods of Wisconsin. And I filmed that. I loved making that video, loved doing that race. It was very not physically tiring but mentally tiring there was a lot of elements there was rain there was you know cold weather wind things like that so uh really enjoyed that and want to do more of those events next year for the channel and film them document them post them share them with you guys beyond that we took another trip up to marquette discovered the south trails and all the flow that is offered there can't wait to go back up to Marquette next year, especially now that we got the van. It'll be super easy to pack the bikes, find a spot to park, stay up there for the weekend, and then shoot back down to Wisconsin for work. But yeah, that is the year in review. Thank you guys for joining the channel. I mean, it's, it's crazy to think that five months ago, this was nothing. Stoked on Spokes wasn't even a thing. And now, you know, we got a channel videos up there i'm liking the comments that you guys are posting interacting with each other this is the reason i created the channel as well is to get some more interaction and offer sort of like a friendly forum for discussion what are your thoughts what did you like about this past year whether it's from the channel or from your own cycling experience let me know down below and i will get back to you on that i love hearing from you guys love commenting back I uh, love the interaction. So thanks again, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Till then, remember to stay stoked on Spokes.